Hi, everyone. Um, so I wanted to welcome you to the, the Spiritual Mentorship Program. If you are watching this video on my page, on my website page, then chances are that you have already read through uh, what this program entails. But if you are watching the video somewhere on the social media, then I encourage you to um, go to my website and read all about the program. So this video is not meant to be uh, talking about all the nitty gritty details, but rather, I, this video is like an addendum that I wanted to kind of fill the gap where they may be in my description of the program. So um, the program is, is going to be launched in January 2022. It's a year long program. What that means is um, you don't, it's a year from when you enroll in the program. So suppose you enroll in March, right? Then you will go the March of 2023 and you will loop around to the topics or to the areas that we went over when I launched the program in January, but only at a deeper level. So this is not a program that is, you know, we're talking about spirituality, right? Um, I'm a seeker. I am a student of it as much as you are. So at the time of teaching and guiding you through the program, I'm going to give you all that becomes available to me. And actually that's why I'm doing this program, I'm doing this video because um, I possibly cannot um, predict what the intuition is going to show. I cannot predict what might be in the, you know, energies, the information that needs to come through to be imparted to you. So although there is like a little detail on every month what the topics we will cover because I had to put something there, but I want to tell you that it's much bigger than what I can possibly write or talk about at this point. Because, I mean, what's not spiritual? Everything is. Can we talk about spirituality? Um, you know, in without a context of our life. No, we cannot. Spirituality cannot be talked about without the without our traumas and tragedies. It can't be talked about without the gritty details of our life. It can be talked about without how do we live this five senses on uh, this, you know, this linear physical life? How do we infuse spirituality into it? So spirituality is a bigger umbrella, much bigger than you and I can even imagine. It's filled with the unknowns, and that's where, uh, and that's where our, our superpowers, our intuitive powers are going to guide us into the unknown. Super, spirituality is everything known and everything unknown. And like, how big is that, right? So, um. So, you know, in this program, yes, we are going to talk about the nitty gritty details. We are going to go over, you know, um, things like, you know, how are you eating? How are you living? How are you relating to nature? How are you relating to um, other people? How are your relationships? What's triggering you? What's the, what are the traumas that are coming up on the surface to be looked at? Where are you headed? There's nothing that it's outside of the context of this program um, because it is that big. But at the same time, we have to funnel it down into, into making spirituality practical, right? So how do we do that? How do we take something that is so mystical and so big and funnel it and translate it into what it means to be living it? And that's what I hope to impart with you. And that's what we will be discovering and exploring in each session. So each session is not just some random, uh, mystical, philosophical ideas. It's really how to make those um, ideas practical. If any of you have worked with me, you know my style of working. I don't talk about random things. I really get into the nitty gritty of what the heck does that mean to you? 
the heck that means in your life? What it, how does it um, how does it kind of pan out in the context of the struggles, your day to day struggles? So we bring it home to ourselves, right? But we don't keep it there. It goes out into the world. Because we are in coexistence with each other. We don't live on an island. We don't live in, an, in isolation. Everything affects everything else. We affect those around us. Those around us affect us. So in a way, it is such a, it's, I feel such a privilege to undertaking because it's not just, you know, it's not just about me. I feel a greater responsibility. It's how can I live in a way that I may be the answer to someone's prayers, right? How's that for the bigger context? So you're living it, and then you're becoming what the humanity needs. I think we're moving. I mean, these times, we can't, if anything that, COVID has taught us is we can't just think about ourselves, right? We wear the masks. If you wore the masks, it wasn't just to protect you. It was to protect others. We became conscious of, you know, others around us. We became conscious of how our health can impact others. So if anything that COVID has taught us is we have to think in the terms of we, us, and collective. We can't think individually. That's why we are in the kind of the mess that we are in, because we didn't think long-term effects. We didn't think the effects of our way of thinking, living, being on our health. We didn't think about other others. We didn't think about the long-term effect on the environment. We didn't, we didn't think big enough, right? So um, we have to think bigger than just ourselves. When we bring it home to us, we live it, but then it just spreads out into the world. We are, that's how we become the way showers, the light workers. We hold the light. We hold the light in our own light, we bring the light into our own light. So the, the surroundings become lit up. So we become an example. So that's what this program is about. But it's it, this program is as big as possible, and it's going to become as small as you need it to know. What does this mean? What does this concept mean? I'm eating this way, or this is what my relationship looks like. I can't even survive from day to day. And you want me to think what? Spirituality? So that's not separate from your spirituality, okay? Spirituality doesn't mean we just meditate and we just get lifted off. It's real. It's real. It's practical. It's, it will help us go through. It will help us heal. So the path of spirituality is a path of healing, right? So when we heal our tragedies and our traumas, we are moving closer and closer to being whole. This is holism. So spirituality is how do I hold? How do I hold and make sense of my joys, my struggles, my blessings, my tragedies? How do I bring it all together? So spirituality is not just all the, you know, it's just going to make everything better. It's about wakefulness. So our definition of better happiness, joy, they expand, right? So spirituality is about, about, about waking up to what is possible, to waking up to who we are designed to be. So there's a whole, all talk going on on 5D, 5D, you know, the rainbow bridge is within our own psyche. So we, we get to cross that. 5D is already here. If you're living it, if you're living in a heart-based flow, intuitive kindness and compassion, that's 5D. If you have perhaps, you know, understood that you're bigger than what appears to be this physical body, you're already moving into 5D. That's, what, that's who we always were. 
It's just that we never knew that. So this whole, you know, moving into the 5D is, is, the, is the oldest phenomenon, kind of, but we were asleep to it. So these higher energies that are coming in, they're waking us to it, right? But waking up can be, <laughs> can be a whole lot of chaos. <laughs> when we wake up to the truth, what do we do with it? That's why we need this mentor. That's what this mentorship program is also. I want us to guide you, right? Why am I your guide? Because um, it's not because, you know, I come from India and I have the knowledge of yoga and Ayurveda. That may be true, but I have lived it. I have gone through several, so many dark nights of the ego. Um, that this is experiential. So I have lived it. Whatever I'm going to teach you, although I have learned a lot, I, you know, I do take classes and courses. I'm a trained uh, spiritual counselor. I'm a trained Ayurvedic practitioner. I'm a trained Ayurvedic yoga therapist, whatever. Um, above and beyond that, I've lived it. So that's why I can guide you and I would love to guide you and I'm going to be growing with you. So although there is a whole syllabus, you know, 12 months, one month, second month, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know what's going to show up in May. I don't know what's going to be available to me in May. I don't know who I am going to be in May and all this knowledge and information that's going to come in that I'm going to be able to optimize. So this really is an alchemical process, the spiritual mentorship. And, and to waking up to um, what's possible. So, um, so there's, a, there's lots of room. So I'm gonna make available to you everything that's available to me. So my um, greater desire is for this program that, um, so you get to live these, uh, you get to experience spirituality. Why do we want to experience spirituality? Because it adds meaning to every moment. When there's meaning and there's purpose to who we are, why we're here, that's the enrichment in life. And like I talked, it's not just for us. It's for the world around us. We need more and more and more and more and more groups of people, the communities, the light communities coming together and um, being the light bearers, being the beacon of light. That, that's where our happiness lies. That's happiness, right? When I'm happy and you're also happy. Happiness where, yeah, I've got everything I want. I'm happy, you know. Screw you, I don't care. Our psyche just does not agree with that. So, um, so this is, um, so if, I do encourage you to take a look at the program on the, all the details if you are watching it on social media. And I just, I did make some points to see what I wanted this video to be. Um, so I'm just checking to make sure that if there's anything else that I needed to say, just to give you a, a little more sense of the program. And, oh, yes, um, you know, also within the program, I, it, community is so important. One of the important pillar of like a Vedic lifestyle. So think of Vedas as just the ancient teachings. And I'm going to be sharing with you know, the Ayurveda and the yoga from a really bigger perspective. And how do you make that wisdom how do, how do you bring that into your life? But one of the pillars is community, Sangha. So community is very important. Our interconnectedness, our interdependentness is what's going to make us grow. We can't go everywhere alone, right? So we're meant to be together. We're meant to be sharing, helping, and interacting with one another. So one of the things that I want to do in this program is to create peer groups. So you have a peer. So you have two or three peers, depending on how many people sign up. 
And then you have someone that you can continue to work with. So there's going to be a lot of interactions in the sessions as well. And the program is going to be launched in January. But like I said, um, it could be running for the next couple of years, right? I'll see what happens. And if you keep looping around um, into the program, the teachings are going to become richer and deeper. It's going to keep on becoming better and better. And who knows, maybe you repeat the program after a year. You keep signing up for it and it just keeps on, you, it keeps growing with you and you keep growing with the program. So spiritual, spirituality is not a one-shot deal. It's not, we're not living in this. Spirituality cannot be um, experienced by thinking 3D in a linear fashion. Like do these 12 things and um, you're all set. Right. I know a lot of people, maybe you might even know too, a lot of people who, you know, that the spirituality is intellectualized, right? They have all the knowledge, they have all the information, but it's not infused, it's not integrated into the living. That kind of spirituality, folks, um, I'm sorry, but it's pointless. Who cares? Who cares about the knowledge? Press the Google key and you can get all kinds of knowledge. This is about experience. This is about embodying. In each session, I'm going to involve the body. I'm going to involve the senses. I'm going to involve the breath, the tools that we already have, right? So many tools. I'm going to involve the nervous system because that's where the, the grounding of the learning in the body, where you don't have to do anything. Your presence does it all, right? Wouldn't that be nice? that you enter a room, your presence lights up the room. So I like that because that's, that's ultimately who we can be. Words cannot express, you know, no amount of my explanation is going to be enough to tell you what this program is about. You have to get your sense of it, your feel of it from what I've written and from what I'm talking about. So if you feel like, yes, this is, this is a program for me, then sign up and roll in it. And I just can't wait to have you in the program. I'm really excited about it because I've had this in 2020, last year, that I knew this program needed to happen. But I didn't do anything for 2021. There was just so much happening, so much we were dealing with, so much we were reacting to or responding to. It was hard to know. It was hard to know really what people needed. So I just kind of put it on the back burner, kind of in my mind, it was working, but I started to do shorter programs. And I think now it's a perfect time next year, 2022, it's a perfect time to dive into a little bit deeper to, to really know that we have arrived and now we are ready to really integrate everything we have gone through, integrate our life into this one simple truth, one big truth of who we are. Imagine if we pivot from a place of knowing that we are larger than this body, we're larger than our thoughts, we're larger than our day-to-day -day struggles. Imagine if our connection deepens and we have that pivot, what our life may be like. So, um, da, 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 da. so, so I think that's the program. And, um, you know, you can always reach out to me. Um, you can always schedule a 30 minute complimentary consultation to see if this is what you're looking for. This is what will help you as to what's going on in your life. And it's possible that you may need to work with me individually, one-on-one uh, -on -one as a separate plus this program, but it really depends on where you are. So this is a program where I'm just going to bring so much, so much into, into your awareness, into your learning. So your life becomes fuller, richer, and the life of those around you is also lit up. And I think with that, um, do read the, all the stuff, readings, what I've written on the page and to give you a better sense. So the launch will be um, sometime in January, maybe December, I don't know. Um, but we gather on January 11th. 
2022. I picked January 11th, 111. There's a significance to three ones. And then 22, that's 11 times two. I don't know. I, I get fascinated by numbers and I'm, I'm affected by numbers. And three is my favorite number. So every month there's going to be three things. One individual integration session, one group coaching, about three hours, and uh, one uh, Q&A right? And there'll be other things. So as we go into the program, if I feel like, oh my God, you need more, you need more learning, you need something here, I'm going to keep on adding more material, maybe addendums or another video for you to learn in because there's no, you know, my heart is completely open to give you everything that I possibly can, everything that I have. I want you to know and learn and experience and put it into your life. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the program. And I hope this video helped you a little bit more as to what this program entails. And that was my intention to kind of fill the gaps where the writing was just not sufficient or enough um, just to explain a little bit more, okay? So I will um, look forward to seeing you and maybe if you have any questions, reach out to me and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Take care and we'll talk soon.